here's the thing about this. It literally destroys the argument about powered speakers because powered speakers are all about convenience and price. You get this for 60 bucks. You can get a pair of ELAC BS 41s for 120. You can get a pair of Sony SSCS fives for 120 or even a hundred dollars. So for $160, 10 bucks in speaker cables, you have one of the best sounding cheap systems out there. One of the best deals in hi-fi is this. This is the Fozzy Audio TB10D. It has a bit of a backstory. We've talked about it before, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't putting this thing up in lights. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Fozzy Audio 10 TB, TB10D. It's a speaker amp. This video is actually sponsored by Fozzy Audio. Fozzy Audio was one of the first pieces of electronics that I purchased to do a video on, on this channel, way back in the beginning when we had almost no subscribers. So it's kind of cool, it's kind of humbling to think that they now actually sponsor the channel. They have a whole line of products. My favorites is this amp right here. They also have a $60 Phono preamp. You can't go wrong with really any of their products. Fozzy Audio's products are always good, and they're more importantly, always cheap. So check out Fozzy Audio's products on Amazon and their website. Backstory, I purchased this on my own. Why? Because it has the 3255 amp chip set from Texas Instruments. That is one of my favorite sounding chipsets if it's integrated properly. The IEMA A07 also uses this chipset, and that's when I discovered, hey, this thing sounds like a $500 class AB amp or receiver two-channel amplifier integrated. Does it beat all of them? I don't know. But <laughs> point being is this sounded better than any other class D amplifier I had heard at its price or even triple its price. So I was super excited when there was one with tone controls because up to that point there hadn't been any amps with a 3255 that had tone controls. Well, I got it and I was underwhelmed. So much so that I posted a video that said don't buy this product. Fozzy Audio actually emailed me afterwards and says, listen, can we revamp this and send you a new one? Listen to it. Make a video, don't make a video. But we want to make sure that we are improving our products. They sent me another one. It sat on the shelf for months until I finally turned it on. And lo and behold, I don't know what they did, but it sounded great. And is now my new de facto budget amplifier. It's $60. It's actually listed for 80 on Amazon, but there's almost always perpetually always a $20 off coupon, which makes this $60. $60, so let's talk about maybe three things I love about this amplifier. Number one, numero uno, the price. Obviously, I'm the cheap honey man. 60 bucks, 60 bucks for this thing. The reported power, they always report the power on the 3255 amp chipsets, 300 watts into four ohms. That's not gonna happen, why? Because the power supply that comes with it is a 32 volt, five amp power supply. I'm no mathematician, but that's 160 watts. Voltage times current equals a power. But 160 watts is more than enough. I haven't tested the power output on this, but I did buy an O-scope and some resistors. So I think I'm gonna figure out a way to start testing the power on these amplifiers. What I will say is the 32 volt five amp power supply is a pretty big step up from the 24 volt 4.5 amp power supplies that are included in most other amplifiers like this. It can go up to 48 volt, 10 amps. I don't think you need that though. With the inclusion of the 32 volt, five amp power supply, it drives just about every speaker that I need it to drive without even breaking a sweat. So cheap power. Number two, tone controls. I love me some tone controls and some loudness buttons. This don't have no loudness button, but does have tone controls. Also has a toggle power switch. Very small, okay? We're gonna talk about tone controls though. I don't think that we should be put in the corner. Nobody puts Fozzy in a corner. Nobody puts the cheap audio man in a corner. We like to listen to how we like to listen. Sometimes we want a little bit more bass. Sometimes we want it to be a little sparkly on top. Sometimes we wanna reduce the sparkle because our speakers are screaming at us. Well, you can do all that because you have tone controls on the Fozzy Audio TB10D. 
and I hadn't seen that before on a 3255. That's why I would, that's why I bought this in the first place. And the revision of this, oof, so good. It's so good. It's so good that people should just buy this and try it out just because it's sixty dollars. And if they don't like it, send it back to Amazon. It's almost absurd that this product exists at sixty dollars. Number three, the size. Look at it. Look at it. Um, it's my cell phone in comparison. It is slightly bigger than my cell phone. It's even shorter than my cell phone, although the knobs come out to about what my cell phone is. So you can put this in a variety of locations, locales. Put this next to a book, put it in your bookshelf like this. It's sm smaller than most books. You can put this, you can hide it behind a fern, fake fern, because I kill real ferns. It is spectacularly small. It's simply amazing. Number four, simplicity. The only thing you have is one analog input. So if you have a DAC, that would go in here. If you have a phono preamp, that would go in here. This could be, this thing about power, here's my, here's the thing about this. It literally destroys the argument about powered speakers. Because powered speakers are all about convenience and price. You get this for 60 bucks, you can get a pair of ELAC BS41s for 120. You can get a pair of Sony SSCS5s for 120 or even $100. So for $160, 10 bucks in speaker cables, you have one of the best sounding cheap systems out there. Add a phono preamp from Fozzie for 60 bucks. Add a DAC. You may want to spend a little bit of money on the DAC. Get like a shit Modi. I think though, Fozzie is coming out with a really capable DAC. We'll see. They're also coming out with another product that may be kind of similar to this, but maybe different. They have some really cool options. You can spend more at Chili's taking your wife out, especially if you take your kids. Definitely. I took the kids, I took two of my kids to Olive Garden. It's like 80 bucks all in. I could have bought this and some speaker wire instead of eating seafood alfredo if you're at all new into this and you want to get into this hobby you want to add a second system you want to put something out on your porch this is it it's 60 dollars. this is the best per dollar amplifier that you can buy in audio period end of story fozzy audio is doing amazing things so if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon only Zooms, Patreon only Discord, Patreon only Facebook. You can use the affiliate links. You click and buy, get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune. Links in the description. Click, sign up. They have about a 30-day free trial. Even if you quit, I get a couple of dollars. Finally, you can use the thanks button. Put a little tip in the tip jar. Buy me a cup of coffee, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe through your new Fozzie Audio TB10D and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.